what's up? It's Richie here with Statifying Football. These are the primetime games for week nine of college football. Uh, still a big game though. Penn State, even though they were upset and lost to Illinois 20-18 and nine overtimes, they're taking on Ohio State. Penn State, Sean Clifford 165 passing and a touchdown defensively at four sacks, three turnovers. Jair Brown, 13 tackles and a pass defense. Ellis Brooks, 11 tackles, a half tackle for loss to pass defense. And Arnold Ebiketti, 10 tackles, one and a half sacks, and two tackles for loss. Ohio State did whatever they wanted against Indiana, 54-7. CJ Stroud, 266 passing, four touchdown passes, 539 total yards defensively. They had five sacks and a safety. This is Ohio State's by favored by 18 and a half. It seems like a lot against Penn State, but Penn State's been kind of inconsistent this year, and I think Ohio State's hitting their stride. They may be a national title contender. CJ Stroud, I think, should be right up there for the Heisman. I'm gonna go Ohio State, and maybe pretty big in that game. My North Carolina and, North, and Notre Dame. North Carolina coming off a bye. They beat Miami 45 to 42. They held on, I should say. Sam Howe 154 passing, two touchdowns, plus 98 rushing yards and two touchdowns rushing as well. Ty Chandler ran for 104, two touchdowns defensively, had three turnovers, they had 10 penalties. They cannot do that against that against Notre Dame. Notre Dame they beat USC 31 to 16. Jack Cohn 189 passing, one touchdown on a pick. Kyron Williams ran for 138 and two touchdowns. I still am not sold on Notre Dame this season. I think they get their second last year. North Carolina coming off a bye. They're four and three. They want to show their they are a good team. I think they are a good team. I think they have too much offense uh, for Notre Dame. I'm going North Carolina. You're gonna upset Notre Dame. Louisville and NC State. Louisville they beat Boston College 28 to 14. Willie Cunningham only 107 passing, two interceptions, but he ran for 133 yards. He had three rushing touchdowns. Trevion Cooley 112 rushing. They ran for 331 as a team. They turned over four times. They cannot do that against NC State. They forced three turnovers in that one. NC State they were upset by Miami 31 to 30. Devin Larry 310 passing, two touchdowns plus one rushing defensively. They had four sacks in that game. Unfortunately for Louisville, I think NC State might. They'll be too mad. Their defense will get going. Lee Cunningham can win that game for Louisville. I think NC State will win this one. This will be a pretty close game. It should be an interesting ACC game. And a pretty big game in the Pac-12 late at night. UCLA and Utah. UCLA lost 34-31 to Oregon. They were up 14-0 and then they lost. Uh, Dorian Thompson Robinson, 220 passing, a touchdown to pick, plus 35 rushing and a touchdown. They had three turnovers. They forced two turnovers but had three turnovers and couldn't overcome those turnovers. Utah, they were up on Oregon State and then lost 42 to 34. Cam rising 267, passing two touchdowns plus 73 rushing yards. This is going to go back and forth. Utah is favored. I'm kind of leaning towards UCLA. Uh, I think I still think UCLA, Chip Kelly, Chip Kelly. I think they will be good. I'm going to go UCLA to win that one. All right, Virginia and BYU. Virginia won 48 to 40 against Georgia Tech. Brandon Armstrong 396 passing, four touchdown passes. Plus 99 rushing yards and two touchdowns. They had six total touchdowns. Dante Minwick, six catches, 168, two touchdowns. They had 636 yards. BYU barely beat Washington State, 21-19. Tyler Aguero was about all they had with 191 rushing and two touchdowns. BYU's favored by two and a half. I don't care if Virginia's going to BYU. I think BYU is way overrated. Uh, I think Virginia is should be rated. They're not ranked. They're 6-2, one of the best offenses in the country. I think Virginia wins. I think they win big over BYU. Fresno and San Diego State. Huge game in the Mountain West. Fresno State is 6-2. San Diego State is undefeated, 7-0, and ranked. Fresno State had a big win against Nevada, 34-32. Jake Hayner, 256 passing, two touchdowns. Mims ran for 134 and a touchdown. Defensively had five sacks. Evan Williams had 10 tackles and a tackle for loss. San Diego, San Diego State, they won 20 to 14 against their Air Force. It was what I figured. Both really good running games and really good defenses. Uh, ran for 157 as a team. San Diego State did. They had 10 penalties. They can't do that against Fresno State. This is kind of interesting. San Diego State is favored by a point. It's partially because of their defense. Uh, San, Diego, San Diego State has one of the best defenses in the country. Fresno State has one of the best offenses in the country. But on the flip side, San Diego State, they have one of the worst offenses in the country. Fresno State has a pretty decent defense. That's why I'm actually going to go with Fresno State with the little upset here uh, in, in that one. I think it'll be a fun game, close game, but I think it'll be Hayner ha making a play. Maybe maybe they only win by a field goal or something, 23-20, uh, to 20, something like that. But I'm going to go Fresno State to win that game. Ending nightcap, a decent game in the Pac-12, Washington and Stanford. 
Washington, they came back to beat Arizona 21 16. Dylan Morris, 217 passing, two touchdowns. Terrell Bynum, five catches, 143 and a touchdown. San Sanford coming off a bye. They lost 34 31. 34 31 to Washington State. Tanner McKee passed for 273, two, two, two touchdowns and a pick. Levani Damuni, 12 tackles, a sack, and two tackles for loss. Uh, this is going to go right down to it. Both defenses are pretty good, but I'm going give to the, give the edge to Stanford. Actually, uh, their quarterback, McKee, has looked more consistent than Dylan Morris has. They can get their running game going. So they're going to go Stanford to win a low-scoring game there. So those are my picks. So the primetime games. Check out all my other videos later. Peace.